Republican state lawmakers spoke out against the Regional Greenhouse Gas Initiative, also known as REGI. Here in News Now, State Capitol Correspondent Brendan Scanlon is joining us live tonight. Brendan, you have the latest details on this, which is uh, shaping into a large piece of budget negotiations in the Commonwealth. What more do you have? Hey there, Mike and Eva. Good evening. That's right. You know, Reggie really seeks to cap and reduce some of those power sector emissions uh, by imposing fees and a declining limit again on carbon dioxide emissions for qualifying power plants. Now today, Pennsylvania House Republicans held a hearing on it. They call it an unconstitutional tax that will drive up costs and actually harm the environment. Because one of the major issues that we have, if you're concerned about carbon emissions, is pollution from China and Russia and jacking up demand to those places by destroying our ability to manufacture here in Pennsylvania is exactly what will happen. Now, Reggie has been and likely will remain a key but contentious topic in budget talks throughout the rest of this month. Now, as far as the budget goes, the ball is really in the Senate's court at this point in time. House Democrats used their razor thin majority last week to pass their version of the budget, which is over one billion dollars more than what Governor Shapiro proposed in March. The budget passed by House Democrats last week also includes Reggie. Now today we also heard from Senate Majority Leader Joe Pittman, who shed some light on how negotiations are going with the budget and why he's not a fan of keeping Reggie or the estimated revenue from it in that budget because it does appear very plainly to anticipate $650 million of new revenue from Reggie, which only comes from the consumers of electricity. And Mike and Eva, we did reach out to the governor's office for comment. We're still waiting to hear back from them at this point in time. But if we do, we'll be sure to uh, include that with our um, piece online at Erie News Now. But for now, reporting live at the State Capitol in Harrisburg for Erie News Now, I'm Brendan Scanland.